exertion complete, you may now move freely about the cabin. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. It's natural that your mind would go there, and it's not a simple question to answer. You stand now at the very center of space and time. Center being the best word to grant you understanding, but still not entirely accurate. The unity is what was, what is, and what shall be. It is nowhere and everywhere, nothing and everything. It is the unity. Any other meaning is entirely up to you, all of you. The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many, human or alien, terrestrial or celestial? One day you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes Starborn 
and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time, By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Ron Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for home out there in the stars. The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. Ryujin Industries dismantles the internal Neuroamp and keeps its existence a secret. The company is successful, but quieter. Every new operative that is hired hears the story of your rise through the corporate ladder and looks to emulate your success. Once you are reborn, there is no going back. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make?
Attention, unidentified vessel. You have no faction markings or registered manufacturer. Please maintain course while we scan you. Assuming scans even work on whatever it is you're flying. Now that is a ship! So, uh, this ship of yours does it take step. Sure, how about it? Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So... That's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth, or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. While it is customary to say, welcome home, that is not dimensionally accurate in this case.
You are reaching the edge of the star field. Go further, and you will return to your original universe. We will be waiting for you, should you come back.